Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, the Toy Car Collector, and nothing makes my day like finding a box like this at the post office. Not just any box, but a box specifically sent to me by another collector or somebody who has a childhood collection. That's what I prefer. This particular box of Hot Wheels came from another collector who decided to uh, change out his collection a little bit, and so he's selling me everything in this box. So let's get home and see what we got. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to smash the like button. All right, everybody, let's get into this box. Let's break it open. Break it open. You know, I don't know exactly what's in here. The fellow that sent me these cars, we uh, talk about this and that, and he shows me this and that, and then he goes, basically says, I'll surprise you. And then uh, after that, we have to work out a prize, of course. There's no free Hot Wheels. No, not since I was a kid. Oh, man, look at that. He sent me a T-shirt. Are you kidding? Oh, wow, it's a Snake and Mongoose T-shirt at that. How cool is that? A little gifty thing. Oh, man, Snake Mongoose. All right, I love the Snake and Mongoose. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. What size is it? Large, my size. Except when I eat too much. Then I'm extra large. Oh, what's down there? Something else. A bonus. Archie Comics. Golly. I love Archie Comics. And I love the Chevy Superman. Wow. I've never even seen this before. It's a Hot Wheels. What year is it? Huh. It is something I can't see on here. Let's see. 2013. Oh, wee, that's cool. It must have been a whole series. Oh, of course, I'm looking right at it. La Troca, Blazer, Street, blah, 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 Sweet Streets, <laughs> 67 Ford Bronco, Super Bad, and 40 Ford Coupe. Wow, that's so cool. That is so cool. And a carry case. Oh, I got a few of these. I have a few of these. If you need any, I've got them. 12 car rally case. All right, what else? Update on power outage. Let's see what's this. Oh, there's a list. There's a sticker. Summit Racing. Oh, nice. Nice. All right. And a blister pack. A blister pack. Oh, all right. Anything else? Nope. Just some nice packing materials. All right. Let's get this set up and see what we got. All right. Right out of the gate is a mystery red line. It's hidden. It's a secret mystery. I think I know what it is, but... Um, Again, we talk, and I've got my head in the clouds, and I don't always make note of everything, and uh, I got kind of an idea what it was, but I like to have surprises. I like to have surprises. I guess I don't need to take that off. All right, here we go, here we go. Blister pack coming out. Here it is, here it is. Oh, hey, wait a minute. That is so funny. That is so funny. You know, I just got one of these from another guy, and I just sold it. That is crazy. You know, I thought it was going to be a Dodge Charger in this blister pack. Hmm. But I tell you what, with enough uh, with enough uh, doing this and doing that and upside down, you can get that window back in there. It's kind of a kind of a secret skill. You just got to get it. You just got to get flipped around and hold on to the car, shake it around, and eventually you can get it in there. You. And I have done it before. I'll probably do it again. But wow, I can't believe it. I just sold one of these and now I have another one. Crazy. It's crazy how that works out. thought it was going to be a Dodge Charger for some reason. Oh, well. No, I think there's a Dodge Charger in this carry case. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at that. Oh. Look at that over there. I've got a boat in there. That means there's a, a seasider in there. Look at this boat. It's kind, of got a, it's kind of turned yellow on the bottom. And I didn't get this one quite glued together quite right. And... Um, but it does appear to be a, a genuine boat as I burp. Boy, you know, that's not really the way to go. Especially when you had a great month like I did. Thanks to everybody who watches my videos because in the last 28 days, when you go on e uh, YouTube, eBay, crazy. When you go on YouTube to see how you're doing in your analytics, I call it analytics. They can tell you how many people have sub new subscribers, you know, all the details, you, 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 whatever. You just imagine it, they do it, they show it to you. So I had like three times as many people watching my videos this month as any other month before. And uh, it's pretty cool because I've been on eBay. Gosh, dang, I keep saying that. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. The first couple of years, I wasn't very serious about it. Then I started to get going. 
And now I just make all these videos and um, all of a sudden, I mean, I've had a nice steady, uh, steady run, you know, nothing too exciting. Good for what I do. You know, it's red line. So it's kind of a small group. Oh, green Camaro. Oh, it's kind of a smallish group. Let's get on the uh, or closer there. Let's get over here on the line. All right. There it is. We'll it is a green Camaro in excellent yeah, condition. Got a little scratch on the top here, a little okay. scratch there. All right, next up, U.S. base. Open Dark second interior. to last. Okay, we'll do that. Got a nice hood on it. All right, nice that's hood. neat, neat, neat. Now, this guy has been selling me parts of his collection here and there, but you know, uh, everybody always keeps the best, no matter what, no matter how many they have to sell or want to sell. They always keep the best. They keep the best. Sometimes. You don't want to sell the best, you know how that is. All right, oh, here we go. What have we got here? We got an orange Camaro. Hey, this one's pretty nice, look at that. Oh, is that a crack in the windshield? No, it's got a little scratch in the windshield. It's not a crack. Well, it is kind of a crack in it. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. A little crack in the windshield. Could be, yeah, look at that. Oh, well, it's still nice. It's got a nice little base there, decent tires on it. It's an okay shape. It's okay. I'd call it, what co condition would I call it? Ooh, not quite excellent. Uh, it's kind of, it's really hard. It's like excellent minus or, well, mm, it has got nice color for a Hong Kong. Oh, there you go. Man, Dave, come on, stare at the phone. Get the focus. This is important. Let's give the people what they want. They came here to see red lines. And they didn't come here to see you. They don't mind hearing you, although I have had some comments that said, like, oh, your videos are much better with the sound turned off. And I said, ooh, well, hmm, okay, well, just keep watching them. Look at what we got here. We got another blue nitty-gritty kitty. Everybody's sending me blue nitty-gritty kitties. You know, because if you have a really good color, I mean, blue is kind of common. Blue, aqua, stuff like that. This one's got some, looks like what's left of some moon eyes right there. I better not scratch at it. I have been known for scratching at little moon eyes, and then boop, I get a big scratch or a chip. I'll put some numbers on the side of that, or just ask somebody if they want numbers on the side of that when they get it. There it is. It's a nitty gritty kitty, nitty gritty kitty. All right, nothing, uh, nothing exciting, exciting, exciting yet. At least for me, you know me. I'm very picky, but I've been doing this for so long. I love it, absolutely. And the amount of energy that you can save in your life by loving Hot Wheels it is very important to love Hot Wheels. It is one of the best things you can do for your health. Look at this. Magenta. Now this one is nice. This is a nice, nice car. Near Mint. It's got beautiful color. Deep, deep color. Looks like the spoiler's good. The pins are in there. They not, don't look like they've been glued or anything. A little chip here, a little wear around here. The fender's a little nick there. But um, unless I look at it under the microscope, I think it's this is near mint. Yeah, it's a good near mint. Mint minus, if it didn't have all this here, yeah. Yeah, you got a little bit too much wear on the edges to be mint minus, but near mint. I call it that. Beautiful car, nicest one so far. I'll keep that one right there. Well, let's see, we'll back this off here. Back that off. You know what? I need to have this up in here like that. Wouldn't that be cool? I could scooch it back here. I scooch it back here to the lamp. Take a nice background. And let's see, can I get the. No, I can't get that in there too. Let's see. Get that glossy glow off that. Oh, look at that. Now there's a. That, that's a stage. We've just set the stage. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Thanks again for joining me. It's been a great month. I think I said that already. Maybe three times. I'm so excited. I couldn't believe it. It's amazing. I mean, I, I might I might end up losing my my number one title for guy with most videos on YouTube with the uh, least uh, number of um, least amount of money earned. You know, you do earn money on on YouTube. I probably said eBay again. I swear to God. Oh my gosh. But uh, yeah, you know, for many many years, I uh, get like YouTube would give me like seventy five dollars a month for my 500 videos <laughs> but uh, all of a sudden last month or the last 28 days I got $400 I've never got anywhere near that before the highest I ever got before was 120 so thank you thank you and uh, what that does is it encourages, encourages me to make more videos of course 
I want to keep it up. I want to keep that going. Right. Probably not going to be like that unless I find something super rare, which I do have something coming uh, later this week, a Matchbox collection. And people have been bugging me for Matchbox collections. And out of my top five videos, two of them are Matchbox. However, I never make them. Why? Because I'm mostly buying... I'm buying red lines. I love red lines. I love Matchbox, too. This is a beautiful car, isn't it? A little toning through there, but gorgeous, smooth paint. And uh, the guy I bought these cars from actually has a real one of these. And it is out of this world. You would not believe it. I don't think I have a picture of it. He probably wouldn't want me to show it off. He likes to do that, I suppose. Pretty cool, those big old American cars. Although I'd... Drive you, drive you broke trying to maintain and find a place to keep it. These days, where I live in Portland, I mean, gee, many Christmas, you can't really afford to use a garage for a for a parking space. It's got to be used as a living space because everything's so expensive. Look at this. This is a decent red. Look how shiny that is. Can you see how shiny it is? Super shiny. I think I'm going to throw some numbers on that. I got some new numbers that are pretty nice. What do you think? Uh, let me know. Numbers are no numbers. Numbers are no numbers. Nobody, you know, sometimes people say don't put numbers on them, but then they don't sell. They do not sell. You put some numbers on it and then they sell. Here's another thing you got to watch out for. Crack wheel. Crack wheel. So, cracked wheel. Now, this one's fine. I wouldn't even really comment on that one because it's so pretty already. Just don't, um, oh, there's another crack on that one. Two crack wheels. That's fine. Yeah, well, probably should comment on it, but the wheel is beautiful. I'm not going to take it off because if you try to take it off, it'd probably break. And that would be a complete waste. It would be a waste. A waste of a perfectly good wheel. Absolutely perfectly good wheel. All right. What we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, 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 oh. We got another Maverick. Wow, Mavericks are coming out of the woodwork. That's good. I uh, ate Mavericks. They're always popular. This one is a yellow, and uh, again, much camera day. Looks like this side's been glued in. That side's probably been glued in. Oh, no, fake spoiler. Never mind. Fake spoiler. Nice job they did of putting it on there, but it is a reproduction spoiler. So, that is a very inexpensive, low-cost red line, considering it is Mighty Maverick. Yeah, I got some... You know, I haven't checked the, check the springs on these things. Hmm, looks good. Always check the springs on your cars. Oops, make sure they sit right too, you know. Spring, 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 No, Bruce Springsteen was just in town last weekend and my wife's family goes nuts for that. They're real big Bruce Springsteen fans. She has nine brothers and sisters. Yeah, and they're all older than her. Katie's 56. I'm 64. And all her brothers and sisters are anywhere from 65 or 55 to uh, 71. Yeah, getting old. Everybody's getting old. Except for me. I am. I refuse to get old. That's right. That's right. Have you ever seen those t-shirts? Those funny t-shirts that say things like... Like... Uh, what do they say? You know, I can't even remember. Too many Christmas. Gee, it kind of dumb to start talking about somebody. Oh, my God. Let's start this over again. Oh, look at this. Finally, a really great car. A blue Camaro. A blue Camaro. That's funny. That's funny. This one looks like a real early wheel right here. It's funny how that is. That is another crack wheel, too. Oh, losing the camera. Keep looking over the front of the camera. This is like an early U.S. wheel that looks like a Hong Kong wheel. And this is just a U.S. wheel. Early U.S. wheel with a crack in it. And that's a U.S. wheel. And that's a U.S. wheel. And um, that's a nice car. Let's see. The hood's nice. Hood's good. A little dark here. Got a nice base. Not a tab base. Tab base has little bars right here. One, two, three, four little bars. I don't know why they made that. Something to do with the casting. But this is a good, excellent condition blue Camaro. I have no idea what something like this is worth. I guess I'll have to do some study. But, um, yeah, blue Camaro. Real pretty. The shade, I mean, the shade, the color, the 
lack of toning. That all works nice. Little scratches there from being knocked upside down, probably. Look at that nice back. Oh, god dang it. Oh, this is the video of anti focus. Hmm. Got to step that. That's my second favorite car so far. Second or third. Last. Okay. I think we're getting. Yeah, we're getting closer. Uh, starting to feel like this is going to cost me a lot of money. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Honey, I need more money. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Heavy Chevy. Oh, I swear to gosh. Why are there so many heavy Chevys and King Kudas and all these cars with no numbers on the side? They might have come from my early collection. <laughs> when I first started collecting red lines in the late 80s, I didn't like any of this stuff. It just it made no sense to me because I like the colors. So I would clean all that stuff off and um, make them look nice. <laughs> but there you go, heavy Chevy red with... with no numbers, just stripes. Stripes, no numbers. All right. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I got to clean up the kitchen before Katie comes home. She's not actually here. Oh, my goodness. I tell you what, you could not do this kind of stuff without a wife who approves. That would not be good. Oh, look at that. We got a TNT bird. A red one. A red TNT bird. Look at that. Springy all around. Good, good. That's a good car. That's a good one. Nice black roof. Nice numbers. They look like nines upside down, don't they? They don't really look like sixes. Yeah, they look like nines upset. Yep, see, there it is. It's a nine. Right on. There it is. Beautiful base. That's a nice car. That is a nice car. Look at that. That's a pretty neat little set. Second to last. Here we go. Second to last. All right. Second to last. I like this little foam stuff. What is the, the silver stuff? What the heck is it? Oh, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a picnic tablecloth. Good idea. Good idea. All right. Oh, it is a Dodge Charger. A Dodge Charger. You know, I don't have many chargers for sale look at this oh hey check the spots i actually had somebody contact me and say he really liked cars with a lot of toning i've never heard that before uh-huh toning and like i told him i don't i don't figure in the spots or the darkening when i give it an overall condition well it's not an overall condition it's a condition of the paint and the uh lifespan really I would describe this car as, <clears throat> uh, let's see, I'm looking for wear. I really don't see any wear. Um, if it was a little lighter, you know, I might call it mint minus, but I'd just go with near mint and visible toning would be the other thing that would be describing this car. Visible toning, a darkened hood. And uh, that's neat. It's kind of neat. I mean, it'd definitely be a lot cheaper than a slamming beautiful dead mint, which would cost you a fortune on a gold charger. So, so that will be a good one. I think it rolls well. And the last car. Hopefully it's a 442 or something. Oh, my gosh. I, I, you know, I think he opened last. I think he did that just to, just to play with me, to toy with my emotions. Because I keep saying, I don't need any seasiders. But he showed me a blue one or a red one. And I said, yeah, I'll take it, seasider. So there's what we got. A blue seasider. A blue seasider. All right. There it is. And it's in decent shape. Excellent, I'd say. It's got great paint. Great paint. Got one little goober up there. And it's got some chips. It's got chips. So again, like I say, I generally rate the cars based on the condition of the chipping. The chipping, the chipping, the chip, chip, chipping. Nice looking car, though. Can't complain about that. It looks good. And the blue is kind of hard. It's kind of hard, really. It's not one of the more common ones. And there's the boat. And you can put a red boat on that, or you can put a white boat on that. I usually give people a choice, because I got a lot of boats. 
you know, I used to, um, you know, buy back when hot red lines were a lot cheaper, I would buy not great seasiders with boats and keep the boats and and uh, just sell the seasider. And so I've got a nice collection of seasider boats. Or perhaps that pile of seasider bo boats I have actually go with my seasiders in my collection, which I can't find. That could be too. Well, all right, let's organize these and ca categorize these and wind it all up. Let's see, we do have some Camaros this time. We got the spoiler Camaro, we got the blue Camaro. Of course, the uh, spoiler Camaro is made in Hong Kong, just like the regular Camaro there. Got a couple of U.S. Camaros, a couple of U.S. Camaros. Then we've got some Mighty Mavericks, two of them. One has got a repo spoiler and it's in terrible shape. And um, a beautiful magenta. Then we got a couple more spoilers over here. Um, these are cut. <laughs> Funny thing about Mavericks, those are cars with spoilers, but they're not from the spoiler series. You gotta have the exposed motor and the numbers and all that to be a spoiler series car. We've got the Nitty Gritty Kitty, TNT Bird, and another Nitty Gritty Kitty. I guess I should put those together right there. And we've got the TNT Bird, which I love. That's one of my favorite. Personal fave. Judge Charger, Dodge Charger at Lincoln Continental. I think they're all gonna go off here. And the blue seasider. Wow, that's a mess. And I got all this tape on my table. Let's see. Let's move these over. Let's see what goes good together. Let's go with the 69s there. Custom Charger, Custom Continental. Let's go with the seasider here. Hmm. And we'll... No, let's see. I guess we'll go with the three. Do you guys do this at home with your cars? Try to figure out the best way to display them. We'll just... Uh, you know, these cars don't all exactly match. They're in different genres, genres, and um, trying to make a good display here. I can make a good thumbnail for the channel. Got the heavy Chevy right there and the TNT bird. I think that's not too bad. I think I'll go with that. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me on this video. A collection, a small collection from another collector to me, Dave Williamson, the toy car collector. Please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't refer my videos to somebody else and let's get some more people watching i really really appreciate it thanks for joining me and we'll see you on the next video